Hello and welcome to yet another video of Cornerstones of Math. Today we will prove that there are infinitely many prime numbers of the form 4k plus 3 where k is an integer. And without further ado, let's get started. We will use the famous proof by contradiction. The first step of this method is quite obvious. Assume that there are finite number of prime numbers of the form 4k plus 3. They are 3, 7, then 11, then 19, and so on, then p, where p is the largest prime number of the form 4k plus 3. Now define n as 4 times 7 times 11 times 19 times, so on, all the way up to p, then plus 3. Notice that the product in the parenthesis starts from 7, not 3. The reason why I didn't include 3 here will be clear later on. If we take a closer look on this n, we can notice several things. First, n is an integer of the form 4k plus 3, and n is definitely greater than p, so by our assumption, n is not a prime number. Moreover, n is odd, so all of the prime factors of n are odd. This means that n can be expressed as a finite product of a bunch of odd prime numbers. And since all odd numbers are of the form 4k plus 1 or 4k plus 3, n can be expressed as the product of positive integers in these two forms. You know, something like this. A product of bunch of 4k plus 1 type primes and a product of bunch of 4k plus 3 type primes. Now let's divide into two cases. The first case, what if all prime factors of n are of the form 4k plus 1? So in this case, n is expressed as the product of integers only of the form 4k plus 1. Here, for a simpler case, let us first take a look at the product of only two integers of the form 4k plus 1. So we multiply 4k1 plus 1 and 4k2 plus 1. If we expand, we have 16k1 k2 plus 4k1 plus 4 4k2 plus 1, which is 4 times 4k1k2 plus k1 plus k2 plus 1. You can see that the result is an integer of the form 4k plus 1. Therefore, n, which is the product of a bunch of prime numbers all of the form 4k plus 1, also is an integer of the form 4k plus 1. But this directly contradicts the fact that n is an integer of the form 4k plus 3, which was established by our very definition of n. This means that not all of the prime factors of n are of the form 4k plus 1, which leads to the other case. At least one of the prime factors of n is of the form 4k plus 3. This means that n can be expressed as q times the rest where this q is a prime factor of n that is of the form 4k plus 3, in here expressed as 4k double prime plus 3 for some positive integer k double prime. Then it is obvious that n is divisible by q, which I emphasize again, is a prime number of the form 4k plus 3. However, from our definition of n, you can clearly notice that first, n is not divisible by 3 because we do not have 3 here. Moreover, n is not divisible by 7, the next prime number of the form 4k plus 3, because this 3 right here is not divisible by 7. And by the same logic, n is also not divisible by 11, 19, so on. Basically, all the prime numbers of the form 4k plus 3, up to the largest one, p. But we have previously shown that n is divisible by q. 
This means that our newly introduced prime factor q is a prime number of the form 4k plus 3, which is not one of 3, 7, 11, 19, so on, and p. This is also a contradiction. Therefore, both case 1 and case 2 lead to contradiction, meaning that our very first assumption, that there are a finite number of prime numbers of the form 4k plus 3, cannot be true. Therefore, there exist infinitely many prime numbers of the form 4k plus 3. And that was all for today's video. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe buttons. And I will see you in another video.